All right, guys. Happy Friday. Hope you had a uh, great week. Hope you're looking forward to your weekend. Uh, we can take a look at Apple real quick. This company has been exhibiting uh, some strength recently. We had a little bit of a breakout here. Uh, and I was waiting to see if we had some confirmation. Um, those of you who have been following my videos for quite some time, those of you who are members of my services or are clients of my weekly market report, you know that I'm big on confirmation. I want to wait to see something confirm. Uh, if it's a daily chart, I want to see it confirm on a, on a daily basis. If it's a weekly chart on a weekly basis, a monthly chart on a monthly basis, so on and so forth. Um, obviously, you get the picture. So what am I looking at here? This is a daily chart of Apple. Uh, price action has been moving to the upside here. We've overcome some older structures. I've created a short-term channel and channel extension. Uh, and with that, we have broken out of an older structure. This blue channel structure here is a little bit older. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for price to accelerate from here. Uh, where am I looking to place my stop? So if I was going to place my stop, let me uh, grab a marker here. I would like to place my stop right below this price action. This is where price consolidated. This is where price was reactive to resistance. Um, and this is where price ultimately accelerated from. So for me, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for either the what I call the exchange of power, uh, where the buyers and sellers duke it out and, and somebody wins, or a pivot higher, pivot low. So you know this would be another pivot down here. Uh, that's a little lower than we'd like to, like to even entertain it, so we're not going to. But let's say hypothetically we bought the market here on this breakout, uh, we'd be placing our stop now down here. So I recognize uh, a couple things. I recognize that we are approaching some ascending resistance. So price may come up and then come back and retest and then push higher. Price may blow through this because this is a weak uh, daily channel. This blue line here is a weekly channel. Um, so we may just get acceleration that blows right through it. And then I'd be looking for a target here. So to me, this is a two-target setup. Um, once price action tests this ascending channel structure, I am going to look to take some of my profit off the table and potentially even move my stop now to break even. Why? Because there's no reason to let it become a losing trade for one. And for two, if it's going to blow through it, it's going to do it. And it's going to probably do it quickly. So if it does, I'll have my second target up here uh, you know, in the 174 handle area. So that's what I'm looking at. I think that this may follow through pretty well. It's been following through fairly decently down here. Um, even on this little breakout here, you had an impulse, you had a little correction, impulsed hard, had a big gap up, had a little correction. We impulsed again. I think you're going to see a little consolidation here. Um, and then hopefully we're looking for that pop that we're after. But again, my thought process becomes, Always take to the conservative side of things. If we do find some resistance, we want to take a little bit of profit. We want to move our stop to break even or at least tighten it up, get it right underneath, you know, this little bit of price action right here. So we're minim minimally risking uh, the little bit that's left. Uh, and then we're looking for the price to blow through. Uh, and we're definitely looking for some resistance above. Now, looking out even further than that, if you want to take this off in three pieces, you could take a bite here, take a bite here, and then look to take a bite even higher in the 183 roughly handle uh, as it continues to ascend, meaning with time that that price action continues to uh, increase. You know, that target begin continues to increase. So that's an opportunity as well. Listen, as you all know, I'm not a CTA. I can't dictate to you your trades. I can't give you personal or unique financial advice, but I can give you ideas. I can tell you what I would do. Um, and, and that's simply what I'm doing. I'm giving you the insight with my experience of what I would do if I was interested in buying Apple right here uh, on this recent breakout. So most importantly, I hope that you found this informational. I hope you learned something. I hope you see the market per, uh, perhaps in a different light than you're normally used to looking at it. Um, if you so choose to do anything with it, I wish you the uh, best of luck, of course. I hope it works out for you. If you don't, follow along, see if it makes sense. Uh, and we'll, you know, we'll recap on this. We'll take a look and see if it's uh, if it's worthwhile, if it, if it did what we anticipated it to do. Um, because, listen, this could go completely wrong and we can get stopped out. And, and that's the reality. That's the risk that always runs 
uh, you know, when you trade the market. You have to be prepared for that. My approach to the market is always the same. Live to trade another day. If something goes wrong, it's okay because I'm not going to let it blow up my account. Um, I'll take a hit. I'll move on and I'll trade again tomorrow. So with that, I appreciate your time. I'm humbled you spent a little of your Friday with me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I look forward to speaking with you again next week.